have you ever realized some people often fall sick when there is a change of weather whereas there are few who remain healthy why it is so there are so many microbes which are around us which might be causing many diseases but we don't always fall sick have you wondered why well the answer is it depends on our immunity so it is the immunity is our ability to fight against the infections this immunity can be of two types innate immunity and acquired immunity innate immunity is that immunity which we get right from the birth yes we are born with this immunity it is non specific but very much helpful it may be physical barrier it may be of physiological barriers it may be cellular barriers or it may be of cytokine barriers let us study them one by one so first is the physical barriers our skin is the most important barrier which protects us from entry of pathogens then comes the mucus coating which may be present in our mouth our gastrointestinal system or urinogenital tract so next comes the physiological barriers there are certain chemicals which may be present in our saliva in in our gastric juices and even in the tears in our eyes uh, which help us in protecting from microbe next comes the cellular barriers there are specific types of cells in our body yes it is our army our wbcs it may be monocyte natural killer lymph lymphocytes or pmnl polymorphonuclear lymphocytes they are neutrophils they are all cellular barriers they kill they eat away they neutralize the pathogen when they find it then comes the cytokine barriers whenever our any cell is infected by virus that cell produces some cytokines they are called interferons these cytokines they protect our healthy cells from viral infections next comes the acquired immunity yes this immunity we acquire after the birth so in acquired immunity our body produces certain chemicals which remain as memory cells in our body and they prevent us from the pathogens so initially it is the primary immune response which produces memory cells which is very mild later on then comes the secondary immune response which is also called as anamnestic response which is very vigorous and kills the pathogen so our lymphocytes which are of two types like b lymphocytes and t lymphocytes they are basically responsible for our immune response and they produce certain chemicals which help us to fight against the diseases and these chemicals are called yes antibodies this is the structure of an antibody it has got two small chains and two large chains these small chains are called light chains and these long chains are called as heavy chains so this structure is also called h2l2 structure two high heavy and two light chains so uh, these antibodies may be of different types like iga igm ige or igg ig stands for immunoglobulin so this acquired immunity is again of two types one is humoral immune response or hmi humoral immune mediated immune response or 
cell mediated immune response let us first study about humoral mediated immune response humoral means fluid so it is present in the blood the blood has got these antibodies when they find the antigen of a specific type they capture it and neutralize it then comes the cell mediated immunity cmi in this type there are our uh, different types of organs like i'll explain you how this occurs actually suppose if we go for some kind of uh, organ replacement so our body will not accept any type of organ first of all we'll have to match the blood group as well as the tissue because otherwise the body will reject that organ so there is a must of matching the proper type of blood and tissue this is because our body can identify between self cells and non self cell so this ability of identifying the self cell and non self cell is done by certain cells which are called as macrophages or natural killer cells or the t lymphocyte cell so this type of immunity is called as cell mediated immunity so such people who go for organ transplantation they will always have to take medicine these medicines are called immunosuppressant okay now again this immunity can be of two types active immunity and passive immunity so let us study for well, first of all what is active immunity active immunity is the ability of our body to fight against the disease whenever any pathogen enters our body so whenever this pathogen enters our body our body cells our lymphocytes produce antibodies against it the whole immunization program is based on the active immunity okay so these uh, this active immunity is basically done by vaccination so with the help of vaccination small amount of pathogen is introduced into the body in response to that our body produces the antibodies against it whereas in passive immunity it is that immunity where our body gets the prepared antibody it does not produce the antibodies for example in case of a fetus it gets the antibodies from the placenta or after the child birth the child is fed on mother's milk i told you in previous chapter that is called colostrum that colostrum is very nutritious because it has the prepared antibodies basically iga which protects the child against the infection so the child is getting the prepared antibodies that's that's why it is called passive immunity so immunity is a very important factor to protect us from various pathogens which are around us in absence of this immunity our body becomes susceptible against the pathogens so in all we can say immunity can be innate acquired active or passive immunity okay thank you